Hi, Nisarga the Bosch here. Before I start, let me ask you a question. Have you ever had some traumatic event in the past that stopped you from living your full potential right now? And what do I mean by traumatic event is any past experience that was too overwhelming for normal coping mechanism of your body or was too invasive, too intensive for your nervous system. Simply it puts you in a state of shock, panic, freeze or immobility. And we all have had some traumatic event in our life. For many of us, the first traumatic event was our own birth. One of the most effective way to release and work with trauma is to help person in a very gentle way, in resourceful way, to uncouple the immobility and the fear of immobility that comes from traumatic event with the presence and awareness. To make it more clear, let me tell you a little story from my past. When I was in childhood, in the beginning of primary school, I've been asked by one of the teacher to go in front of the class and present some subject. I wasn't well prepared, uh, but I remember I went in front of the class and it was the first time in my life that I felt sense of shame, low self-esteem and unworthiness. On the top of it, class and the teacher start making fun of me. So you can only imagine what state I was at. I was in panic, I was in shock, I was completely froze, contracted. For many years this experience has had a big impact on my life. Even thinking about presenting something in public brought me in a state of freeze and contraction. About eight years ago I met Gitian Tonkov, the creator of Biodynamic Breath and Trauma Release System. And that system has tremendously helped me to work with my traumatic event in life and brought me instead of uh, living my full passion and uh, healthy life. And the system is based on few principles. It brings deep connected breathing, conscious touch, conscious movement, uh, trauma release exercises and meditation mindfulness. The system is based off on four major steps for releasing trauma. Firstly, person who is engaged in their session is asked to go into deep connected breathing and in the first step they are asked to bring awareness to their body sensations simply tracking down what are the sensations in their body without putting any stories or attachment to it in the second step the person is asked to also bring awareness to the places in the body which has sense of disconnection uh, contraction immobility those places which got contracted and disconnected during the traumatic event from the past. The third step is about helping person to uncouple in a very gentle and present way the immobility from the past event, from the, the time when the traumatic event happened and uncouple the fear of that immobility with presence and awareness. And the fourth step is about bringing into the session state of awareness, presence and resourcing. Now you might be asking how these four simple steps can help release so effectively trauma. Now for this I need to give you a little background about trauma anatomy. Let's presume that you are facing some very uh, challenging or dangerous event, a situation in your life when you are uh, feeling uh, overwhelmed by experience that comes into your life. What happens on the subconscious level that your sympathetic nervous system creates flight or fight effect. What does it mean that you are getting ready to either fight against that situation or flight, run away because it's too overwhelming for you. What, is, what happened uh, psychosomatically that you are releasing into your system a lot of adrenaline, your blood pressure increases, you start releasing a lot of chemicals and substances to make your state hyperactive and uh, um, ready for fighting or flight or running away from that situation. Now, if that particular experience is even too overwhelming for flight or fight to be expressed, 
then this, the parasympathetic nervous system comes in place, shuts off flight or fight, and creates state of immobility, freeze, disassociation. It's simply the, uh, the way that nature helps us to disconnect from our sensations if the danger is too much and cuts, at cuts us off from the sensations, from the feelings, so we don't feel pain. But what happens then is that under that, we are still having that cycle of fight or flight circling underneath, wanting to get expressed, wanting to get released from our system because there is so much energy there, there is so much chemicals running underneath that wants to get expressed. If during the traumatic event that cycle has been not expressed, then we are carrying it away throughout our life, creating state of hyperactivity or anxiety in life. So these four simple steps are designed to help us completing the cycle of fight or flight, expressing from our own body that stuck energy and bring more vitality and health. This method is helping over 500 people each year in three continent, continents. It's being taught in Europe, United States of America, and Asia. And in fact, in a few weeks' time, you have a chance to also have this training here in Poland. And if you are interested to find out more, I would invite you to click this website you see on the screen, healinginstitute.com, and go into calendar, find out more. If you are interested in other locations like Sedona, Moscow, Bali, or uh, China, please click on biodynamicbreath.com and you can find out more about other locations. I hope this method can help you as much as it helped my life to bring more aliveness, vitality and uh, happiness. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in one of the courses in Poland. Thank you for now. Bye.